Who? Who? Oh, Minerva, should have known you'd be here. You're always up in everybody's business. The idea of you being in charge of an infant gave me nausea, so I had to come. No worries, group outing. That's on top. Have you seen Hagrid yet? Do you think it's wise trusting Hagrid with something as important as this? Catty, Minerva, even for you. All right, lads, Stork's arrived. <coughs> oh my god, Minerva, look, I'm holding a baby and I didn't drop it yet. Well done, now please put him down. Okie dokie. Oh, I didn't mean right there on the floor. What do you mean? Well, aren't you gonna knock? Knock where? On the door. Minerva, the only thing better than a surprise is a surprise baby. Trust me, the muggles are gonna love it. it just doesn't seem that safe. This is why we don't invite you to things. That kid just killed a guy. I think it can handle a doorstep. Right, job well done. Should we go for a drink? To spoons. Nando's first, then, yeah. Get up! Now! <laughs> oh, no, it's Augustus Gloop. Wake up, Potter! <laughs> We're going to the zoo! <gasps> you belong in a zoo. Oh, abuse! Why don't you just cook the breakfast and try not to burn anything? Yes, Gordon Ramsay. Hurry up! Bring my coffee boy! I've only got two hands. I'm not magic. <gasps> Presents. How many are there? 36. Counted them myself. <laughs> I just want one. Well, some are quite a bit bigger than last year. I don't care how big they are! <laughs> Me neither. <laughs> that is disgusting. Do the roar. Snakes don't roar. Do it. Do the roar for my son. Do the roar! He's asleep. And your parents are dead. <sighs> Sorry about him. He's a dick. And I'm a snake. Can you hear me? A slithery little snake. I've never talked to a snake before. <gasps> snake friends, yes. Yeah, snake friends. Ah! Do the roar! Abuse! I love you, Daddy. Ow! That's my snake friend. Splash! <gasps> Was that you? You little snake! Well, I guess you're free now. Thank you. No food for a week. Let me guess, you're gonna eat it. Elbus Percival Wolfric. Oh God, what have I done now? Brian Dumbledore. Yes, Sweet Pea? Don't you, Sweet Pea me? I have seen the admissions letters for next year's students. Yes. Harry Potter's is there. So? It's addressed to the cupboard under the stairs. Yeah, I saw that. Bit suspicious. I told you that day that they were dreadful, and now 11 years later I improved right at Harry's expense. Minerva, you're overreacting. He might like it in the cupboards. Sorry, what? He might just prefer a minimalistic lifestyle. Do not sit there on that throne and tell me that this boy likes living in a cupboard. Also, we don't know his behaviour yet. He might be the worst. Maybe he deserves it. I am going to throw that throne out the window. Don't be silly, Minerva. It's my favourite. I just bought it. Is that so? have my throne back in 11 years you never went to visit him either hello i wondered when i'd be seeing you mr potter my scars under my hair how do you know who i am shut up let's try this one a stick cool give it a wave all right Pow! oops please don't beat me don't even have parents to pay for it great hardly my fault sir try this one are you sure you woke up and chose violence. What the heck is going on? I wonder. This guy is so weird. Try this one. <laughs> what just happened? That wand has a brother. It's curious that you should be destined for this one when its brother Thanos to your parents. You like bringing that up, don't you, Grandpa? He did great things. Ahem. <clears throat> Terrible, I guess, but great. Before we begin, Professor Dumbledore would like to say a few words. Hello, my little munchkins. Welcome to Hogwarts. Few announcements. Firstly, the Dark Forest is strictly forbidden to all students. Unless you get detention. Then we'll send you in unprepared and unsupervised. There are giant spiders in there that'll eat your face clean off. Centaurs, you ever been kicked by a centaur? I'll tell you what, you ain't walking back. Tell them about the demons. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. There's demons in there. You'll get possessed. Come back to the castle like... <laughs> Holy cricket. I saw a tiger in there once. A tiger? 
Are you sure you weren't in cat form and it wasn't just your shadow? Oh, well, now I feel a bit stupid. Next, the floor corridor out of bounds to anyone who does not wish to die a most painful death. Is it too late to run? Yeah, it is. Now, I can't tell you what's down there. It's a massive secret. It rhymes with tree-bedded log. Oh, a three-headed... Stop talking to me. Right, let's get the party started. Harry Potter has come to Hogwarts. This is Crab, Goyle, and I'm Malfoy. Draco Malfoy. Uh, uh, uh. Think my name's funny, do you? No need to ask yours. Red hair and a hand-me-down robe. You must be a Weasley. You must be an arsehole. You want to go, Weasley? Huh? Huh? Psycho. Listen here, Potter. You're currently making friends with a conservation project. Ginger is a recessive gene, and they're gonna die out. Besides, with a complexion like that, he can't even go in the sun. The grounds here are pretty nice. You're gonna want to play outside. He can't do it. He'll get burns, just like I'm doing right now. Your burns are a bit tepid, actually. Lukewarm. Shut up! You're poor! Be my friend, Potter. Everyone's gonna be simping for me in the future. You're gonna want a piece of it. Mm, um, no. <laughs> my father. Get back in line, Shirley Temple. Before I drag you over there by your widow's peak. That's what I thought, Blondie. We're ready for you now. Follow me. You've got your broom. I want you to mount it. Grip it tight. I don't want to see anyone sliding off the end. On my whistle. Three, two, one. <gasps> Mr. Longbottom! Maybe you should, like, tell him what to do instead of just saying his name since this is our first lesson. <laughs> Mr. Longbottom! <laughs> Come back down this instant! Again, that's not really the most helpful instruction. Maybe somebody should arrest his momentum. Nobody cares. Neglect. Hmm? Oh, that's a nice dive, Professor. Oh my gosh, guys, look, I caught a fish! I'm not a fish. Oh, then get off then. <laughs> oh, great, now he's getting strangled. Don't worry, we'll get you a wet paper towel. You'll be fine. Mr. Longbottom tripped on his shoelace. We all saw it. It was not my fault. Right. Now you all just stay here unsupervised. No flying. Yeah, yeah, of course not. Troll in the dungeon! Troll in the dungeon! Thought you ought to know. Uh. Well, that's just rude. He sees Hagrid every day. <coughs> oh, you're there. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't see you. I'm a big man, but I still got feelings. Um... Is he dead? No, I don't think so. Back of his head's twitching. <coughs> oh, everyone stop panicking. Prefects, what did I give you those badges for, man? Take your houses back to the dormitories. But, sir, our dormitory's in the dungeon. Aw, Minerva, the Slytherins are talking to me like I care about them. Shut your snaky mouth and go and fight the troll. How come when he bullies children, everyone's down, but when I do it, no? I heard trolls don't like cats. I'm going to stay here. We're all going to stay here, Minerva. The Slytherins can handle it. <laughs> Great, this has gone far enough. Let's try it again. Oh, do we have to? Yes. Re. Bray. Vin. Ven. Claw. Claw. Ravenclaw. Eaglefoot. Ugh. Raven. Raven. Claw. Claw. Ravenclaw. Penguin toe. No, you are doing this on purpose now. Ravenclaw. Flamingo hand. It's really disrespectful to those houses, Albus, please. It's not my fault that Gryffindor makes sense and the rest don't. How exactly does Gryffindor make sense? Because the door to my office is a griffin. I see it every day. When was the last time you saw a freaking badger? Ugh, forget it. I love the badger fluffs and the eagle foots. It's just the Slytherins I despise. But you can get their name right. Obviously, I'll remember them. They make sense as well. Always slithering around those sneaky little serpents. That's not true. There's loads of good ones. You're being childish. You're being childish? Uh, oh, I've got presents. It's like stealing candy from... Oh, oh, Harry, you're awake. Boy, you're a little fighter. I didn't expect you to be up for at least a couple hours. I 100% wasn't coming here to eat your sweets. <gasps> oh my god! That was Ron, 100%. I saw him. What's it all for? You killed a guy, Harry, and I know I wasn't supposed to tell anyone, but... Then I accidentally told everyone. Oh my god, you won't believe it. Harry killed a guy. <gasps> Hazza, can we talk about how you're a natural? Dust scrambled him, so there's not even a body for people to ask questions about. You little professional, can't wait for our future quests. You mean that wasn't a one-off? Oh, we're gonna have so much fun. This one was non-compulsory, though. If you'd have just stayed in bed, Quirrell wouldn't have been able to get the stone. Me and Minerva were waiting on the third floor corridor with a sack. We were going to throw it over him and say, Not in my school! So thank you for ruining that plan for me. Anyway, killer, I've got a bounce. Glad you're cool. Okay, fine, it was me. Yeah, I figured that. Don't tell Minerva. So the winner of the house cup is... 
Slytherin. No, Minerva, I'm just not feeling it. Doesn't matter what you feel. We won. The winner is Slytherin. No. I've got some last minute house boys. Albus, that's cheating. To give to Gryffindor. Oh, never mind. Carry on. To my little Satsuma, Ronald Weasley. <laughs> You trounced Minerva at her favourite game. She literally cried. He's 12 and I was trying really hard. 50 points. Next, to Hermione Granger for taking such good care of my main man, Hazard. From what I've heard, you two get on in perfect harmony. What do you think he means? I don't know. I'm sure we'll find out. 50 points. Now to the boy of the hour, Hazatron the Hazanator. The little murderer who makes grown men crumble. Harry Potter gets 60 points. How's the maths looking on that? Doing more points. My little man, Nev. Ten points to our lad, Nev, because his gran is a hobgoblin. Ooh, I've won both cups. Ha! Yahoo! Ha! Ugh, Hedwig, what on earth is that? I don't know, that little scrotum hobbit just came in and started bouncing around. Watch out, mate, I only hooted twice, now I'm in this cage. Dobby, sir. Dobby the house elf. My guy, you can't be here, you've got to leave. But, Mr. Harry Potter, I need to give you the lowdown. Okay, quick then, sit down. Bad Dobby! Bad! Oh my god, shut up! Bad Dobby! Bad! Bad! Ah, uh, don't mind that, that's just the, uh, cat. Oh. Harry Potter must not go back to school, there is a plot. What kind of plot? Who's plotting it? Dobby can't say! Okay, okay, my bad, sorry. Bad Dobby! Bad! Let go of the lamp! Ah! <gasps> Dobby, get in the cupboard, get in the cupboard, quick! What are you doing in here? You've ruined the punchline of my Japanese golfer joke. Probably a good job, Uncle Vernon. It's pretty racist. It's not... Uh, yeah, not ideal. Be quiet, or you're going back in the cupboard. With Dobby! Sure. Dobby, Hogwarts is my home. It's where my friends are. Friends who ghost your letters because you're a specky loser? Wait, how do you know that? Well, I... Oh, where did you get those from? I didn't see a pocket. I said the grotty gremlin couldn't be trusted. Kick him to the curb, Harry. And let me out of this cage! <sighs> Give me those. Now. No! Bye! Naruto, run! Mmm! <gasps> oh, why? Promise, sir. Say that Mr. Harry Potter will not return to Hogwarts school. Oh, for some reason I just can't lie to strangers. No! Well then, Dobby must ruin your life, sir. For Harry Potter's own good. I'm gonna slap you. Ow! It's just like being at home. Maybe you ain't all that. <gasps> no, 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 no. <gasps> and now I'll just drop it like it's hot. Ah! Wow. It's my nephew is very disturbed. Meeting strangers upsets him. That's why we locked him upstairs. You're not making yourself look better, sir. <laughs> it's not even tasty. You take that back. Never gonna see those freaky friends of yours again. Never! Why are you so obsessed with me? Shut up. Well, that's just great. Now I'm in a cage within a cage. <sighs> Bloody hell. Hedwig, do you hear that? It sounds a bit like pubescent gingers in a flying car. Pardon? All right, Harry. What are you guys doing here? Rescuing you, of course. Oh, great. We're all doomed. Better stand back. Bang! Blood oil! Potter! Quick, 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 quick! This is banter. In it? No, I bet none of them have licenses, Harry. Come on, Edwig. Tangerine boy, I swear to God, if you drop me, I will peck off your face. A junior who's escaping! Ah, oh, get off! Oh, no, you don't, you and that bloody pigeon aren't going anywhere. Did that wash just call me a pigeon? Let me out of this cage. <laughs> Petunia, I've solved myself. I was starving him, Mum. There were bars on his window. Well, you best hope I don't put bars on your window, Ronald Weasley. Harry, time for a spot of breakfast. Mummy, have you seen my jumper? Yes, dear, it was on the cat. McGonagall. <gasps> Hello. <laughs> Morning, Weasley. I'm Raids. No, you're not Ginger. The heck is this? Oh, I'm Harry, sir. Harry Potter. Shut up. Show me your scar. <laughs> Your sons flew that enchanted car of yours to Surrey and back last night. Oh, Arthur. Very wrong indeed, boys. Very wrong. Is that good? Yes. <laughs> Incoming! Clear the runway! Ah, I'm dead. I'm alive, but I'm dead. Do you have any idea how serious this is? Kinda serious. Quite serious. Dead. Serious. Oh, I don't like the sound of that. You should both be expelled. Oh my god's party in the dungeon and we weren't invited. Minerva, how do you feel? Not that bad, honestly. The dungeon's pretty skanky. Oh, oh by 
baby girl. I didn't realize that you died and left Gryffindor to Severus. I know how tragic. What song do you want me to play at your funeral? Who run the world, girls? Who run the world, girls? Oh, I love Beyonce. These boys have broken the law. Sorry, whose school is it? Not school rules, Albus. The law. Answer the question, whose school? Your school. Oh, is it? Didn't realise. Well, since I'm the law in these walls, it's Minerva's choice what happens. What you've both done is very serious. You will receive detention and I will deduct... We haven't got any house points yet, Minerva. Don't put us in negative. <laughs> the detention's going to be real bad. Mandrake, or Mandragora, is used to return those who have been petrified to their original state. Oh my days, do people really still get petrified in this day and age? What is the world coming to? It's also quite dangerous. Of course it is. The Mandrake's cry is fatal to anyone who hears it. Ten points to Gryffindor. You've all been given a pair of earmuffs for auditory protection. Sorry, what? You've been given earmuffs for auditory protection. You've got an infection. Lavender, what did she say? What? Grasp your Mandrake firmly. Pull it sharply out of the pot. I am Groot. Ah, ah. ah no, baby Groot just Thanos Neville. Ha! No, ma'am. It's just nobody cares. Just leave him there. Neglect. Right, plenty of pots to go around. I am Groot. You are minging, Groot. bushy hair, ah, ugly. I Wanna die when it talks? It's Granger. Uh -huh. <sighs> Ow! Wait till my father hears about this. <laughs> oh, is that your owl? Incoming! Clear the runway! Ah! Bloody birds a menace. I'm dead. Oh. No, no. False alarm. I'm fine. Well, that was embarrassing. Ha! <laughs> it's about to get worse. What does that mean? Ronald Weasley! How dare you steal that car? Minerva, Minerva, Hala! Sit down! For God's sake, man. Oh, kill me now. I am absolutely disgusted. Your father's now facing an inquiry at work and it's entirely your fault. Oh my God, so embarrassing. If you put another two out of line, we'll bring you straight home. To be fair, that is proper embarrassing. Social suicide, more like. Oh, and Ginny, dear, congratulations on making Gryffindor. Your father and I are so proud. <laughs> that money's as good as in my pocket. <laughs> Not true. Look at Hermione's face. <laughs> the match has been cancelled. You can't cancel Quidditch. Silence, Wood. You will return to your dormitories at once. Potter, let's find Mr. Weasley. There's something you two need to see. Oh, sick, a surprise. I hope there's cake. Ron will really like it if there's cake. This may come as a wee bit of a shock. <sighs> a wee bit of a shock? Are you on drugs? Yeah, Professor, that's messed up. Why didn't you break it gently? Wee bit of a shock. What's wrong with you? Uh, I can see in hindsight that that probably wasn't the best description to give you. Sorry. Maybe quite a shock or a reasonably large one. I really thought there was going to be cake or something. Dumbledore would have given us cake. Uh. <laughs> Calm down, Ron. Hagrid wouldn't have sent us if it wasn't safe. That is the biggest pile of bollocks and you know it. Fair point. Sorry, mate. <gasps> Oh my god, excuse me, what are you doing in my house? Ricky, do you know these twiglets? Samantha, you know this crying ginger and his specky friend? They even brought a dog with them. Woof, that dog is messed up. You shut your baggy face. How long you waited the pound before Hagrid took pity on you? If anyone ugly here is you, you ain't even got pincers. I could have pincers if I want. I'm a good boy. Sorry, sir, we just wanted to know if you were the monster in the Chamber of Secrets. Oh, so you trespassing, your dog called me ugly and now you're gonna call me a monster. I'm very handsome for a spider, you know. I got side chicks on side chicks. Isn't that right, Helen? She's not around right now, but I do. We're sorry, we'll just go. Oh, don't be silly, you ain't going nowhere. You can run, run as fast as you can, but we're gonna catch you, Mr. Gingerbread Man. It's my favorite spice. Can we panic now? Hello? Ah! I thought you said immediately, Minerva, I'm gonna beat you. No, that's not fair. You had a head start. Doesn't matter. I have the untapped agility of a panther, but I had to do two laps. Had to run and make that announcement and then run all the way back. As you can see, a student has been taken by the monster. Oops. Yes, oops. Dumbledore only just got taken. I've been headmistress for five minutes and someone's already dead. It's not there. Just got the feng shui in my room right as well. Ha! Dozed off. 
What did I miss? Gilderoy, weren't you saying just last night that my haircut doesn't suit me and you know exactly where the Chamber of Secrets is? Well, that settles it. You can deal with the monster, Gilderoy. You see, Minerva, when I said that kiss didn't mean anything, I may have been being hasty. What? No, it was an accident. I fell and his mouth caught me. And it was back at the start of term when he was a walking smile and he hadn't had time to show how stupid he is. <laughs> Off you trot, Gilderoy. Now, what's the real plan? Brandy. Whoa. What happened? Hello? Ha oh, hi. Oh, excuse me. Hello? Are you deaf? Super job, guys. If you could just carry that discreetly through the middle of the school, that'd be great. Thanks. That's unfortunate. Oh, hey, conundrum. What are you doing down there? It's riddle, sir. Of course it is, puzzle. Up you come. I should have expected this typical Slytherin behaviour. If you'd have just been patient, you'd have seen the body when I sent it through all the common rooms. I had to see for myself if the rumours were true. I have no idea who started those rumours, but they're so true. And the school? Will it close? Probably. I'm an orphan. I've got nowhere to... It's all me, me, me with you, isn't it, Tom? There's loads of orphans, but there's only one Dumbledore. I'm gonna lose my job. And if the person behind these attacks was caught? <gasps> do you know something? Oh my god, you do tell me what you know. I promise I won't tell anyone. Nothing, sir. Go to bed, you little snake. And 50 points from Slytherin for teasing me like that. Right, Tom. That is one big 13-year-old. Hagrid, a girl is dead. I have to turn you in. It weren't Aragog. He wouldn't hurt a fly. Well, he would hurt a fly, actually. That was a bad choice of words. Step aside, Hagrid. No, Tom. He's a good boy. Hagrid, you're my best friend in the entire world. I love you. See? You leave me no choice. Oh my god, no! Hagrid, you see this guy? He just blew up my house. Ugh. No one appreciates me. I'm gonna go to the forest, build myself a big house. Oh, you are gonna regret this day, I swear to God! Aragog, no! I am definitely leaving this place a bad review on TripAdvisor! Your monster killed someone, Hagrid. You'll be expelled for this. Unless we meet Dumbledore on the way, then you'll just get detention. Hagrid! Wait, why am I moving? Hagrid! Ah! Ginny! Ginny, please don't be dead. Wake up! Wake up! There. She won't wake. Oh, Tom Riddle, great. Do you want to call an ambulance or get help or something? Nah. Bit sketch. Well then, I'll get some help. That's my wand. Yes, nice phoenix call. Oh, thanks. But give me my wand, Tom. You won't be needing it. Yeah, actually, there's a basilisk, so I think I might. It won't come until it's called. You're getting more and more sketchy by the minute. I'm going to go get help. You can't do that. As poor Ginny grows weaker, I grow stronger. What? It was Ginny who opened the Chamber of Secrets. <laughs> Ginny Weasley who set the basilisks on the mudbloods and Filch's cat. <laughs> Ginny who wrote the threatening messages on the wall. <laughs> That's weird. Why? Because I told her to. I can be very persuasive. Well, you can't be that good. You got yeeted into a toilet. Wasn't my finest moment. No! <laughs> Then I showed you the capture of that brainless oaf Hagrid to gain your trust. Me and Hagrid are broskies, and you framed him, didn't you? Only Dumbledore seemed to think he was innocent. He kept an annoyingly close watch on me after that. Hey Tom, what are you doing? Hey Thomas the Tank Engine, what are you up to? Tommy! Hey Tom, 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 there's something going on in the boathouse, you really need to see it. Yeah, Dumbledore's really smart, I bet he saw right through you. Thanks, I feel like somebody just said something really nice about me. You should go and check it out. Take Hattie with you. Kaka! Report back. Tell me everything. But why are you doing this? Tom, Marvolo, Riddle, right? I am Lord. Oh, <gasps> snap! Yes. Seems a shame. You could have had mild doormat lover. Or immortal lover, Rod. Oh, mum dildo ant lover. Stop it. Kaka! Huh? Oh my god, now it's a party. Enough. <laughs> Naruto, run! Tom! It's only obeys me. It? Tom? So, eat him. Yes. Thing is, he just doesn't look that tasty, if I'm honest. Not tasty, not tasty at all. I haven't bathed in weeks. Ooh. Eat him! All right. Haven't even visited me in ages, and now you're talking to me like that. It's just a bit trash, all right? Caca! Caca! Oh my god, a bird! I haven't seen a bird in ages. In fact, I haven't seen the sky in ages. You never take me anywhere. Oh. Hey, little bird, do you want to be friends? Oh my god, what are you oh, doing? My eyes? Ow! Ow! No! Your bird may have blinded the basilisk, but it can still hear you. Tom, I've been blind for two seconds. You can't give me a minute. This hurts so freaking bad. I'm scared of the dark. God, you're letting the side down. Come on. Do you see 
see how he treats me. Yeah, I'm sorry. I've not known you long, but I do think you deserve better. I've tried telling him that, but he's just so self-absorbed. Like Chamber of Secrets, it's no secret. He's a dick. After I eat you, I'm going to leave him. He left me here in a smelly old sewer. Doesn't come to visit me for 50 years. And then he just turns up and expects me to clean up his mess. What am I, his mother? Phew. Ginny. Ginny, get up. I'm not playing. We've got to go. This basilisk has serious problems. Hey, kid. You want to take a weapon from my butt? Ugh. Take it or leave it. I don't care. I can't find him anywhere. Naruto, run. Look, there he is. Did you just tell me to look? She's blind. Thank you. Even I can see that's insensitive. Kids, cut me some slack, okay? Stay still so I can eat you. I don't want to do that. I'm sorry. Please. Ow. Tom, I smashed my nose. You don't need it. Come on. That's easy for you to say. You've got a great nose. Right. Ah. I'm really sorry. No, you're not. Are you not even going to cry? Nope. <laughs> Oh, my arm's really stinging. In just a few moments, you and Ginny will be dead, and I will be... What are you doing? Stabbing the book. No! <coughs> oh, oh! <coughs> my nose! <coughs> Murder at school, second year in a row. Yeah! And nobody. Dumbledore would be proud. <gasps> Harry, it was me. I did everything. Riddle made me. No. Ouch. Sorry, I've just, um, I've been through quite a lot probably about to die and it wasn't your fault anyway you were all <laughs> yeah Caca, 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 caca. you were brilliant forks i just wasn't quick enough caca, caca, caca. <gasps> whoa it's all gonna be all right jenny it's just a memory amazing this is just like magic <laughs> you all right as long as i'm with you <gasps> caca, caca. Sir, you're really going to let him throat cane me like this? Yeah, of course. Why wouldn't I? So it's true. You have returned. Nice of you to drop in, Dolly Parton, because we've got to have a talk. Obviously, I've been living in your head rent free. You've been running your mouth, trying to get me fired, threatening people, you little snake. Ridiculous. Well, the jig's up, Regina George. We've got your burn book. It's not mine. The culprit is. Mash up, mate, thanks to Harry Potter. Basilisk fang, straight to the face. You don't mess with a Hogwarts crew. Thug life will destroy you. <sighs> So, pound shop Legolas, anything else to add or we good? Slander, I'll sue you. All right, L. Woods, knock yourself out. <laughs> Let's hope Harry Potter will always be around to save the day. Yeah? And what? That's my boy! Come, Dobby, we're leaving. Master Harry Potter! Oh, we can't have that. Caca! Caca! Sir, could I have that book, please? Oh, are you following him outside? Can I come, or is that a bit bait? Quite bait, yeah. Damn it! Talk loud, yeah? Mr. Malfoy! Mr. Malfoy! Becky with the good hair! Oh yeah, you turned around for that one, didn't you, Paris Hilton? Cocky. For a grubby orphan. You're spending too much time with Dumbledore. I am getting an intense lust for drama. But anyway, I know your game. You did the oldest trick in the book, didn't you? The classic Nifty Shifty. What? You swished those luscious locks like a L'Oreal advert to distract us while you put the book in Ginny Weasley's cauldron. No. It's a wig. Shut up. I'm gonna beat you so badly when we get home. Dobby, open the book. Read at a time like this. I'm about to get beaten. Read the stupid... <gasps> Dobby! <gasps> Master has given Dobby a sock. What? I didn't give you a... Master's presented Dobby with clothes. Dobby is free. You lost me, my servant. It's Brittany, bitch. Uh, it's killed me. It's killed me. Next time, I'll shave you like a sheep. Best friend, Harry Potter. That's great, Dobby. Because I ain't never seen two pretty best friends. Harry, it's Amani. I can move my arms and legs again. Petrified, were you? I know how that feels. So next year, can I help in choosing the defense against the... Oh, shut up. Look, Hermione's back. Oh, I can barely see. Oh, that's better. Harry. We really missed you, Hermione. Oh, my God, I'm going to cry. They're so cute. Oh, it is great, sweet. Oh, my God, she's letting go. She's... Oh, oh. Yes, you are going down. We're gonna go down, down, down. Double or nothing. 80 galleons. You know nothing about human beings. I'll take that bit. What do you mean? I know about these things. If she doesn't want to hug him now while he's a Satsuma, she's not going to want to hug him when he's a pumpkin. Anyway, everyone sit down. I have an announcement. I'm about to come into some money and I'm pretty happy about it. So exams have been cancelled. What? A's for Gryffindors, C's for Slytherins. What about the rest? The rest of what? The other two houses. Who? Hey. 
Everything just froze suddenly. Are we in Scotland already? Ron, we left London 20 minutes ago. I've got a bad feeling about this. I'm quietly optimistic. It could be Santa. Um, excuse me. Hey, anyone in there? Wanna kiss me? What the hell is that? Hey, you ginger stud muffin, do you wanna kiss? Um, no, but thanks for asking. You're a sexy senorita, do you wanna kiss me? I have a cold sore. Ew. Get back, you demon of hell! Shut up, you furry pig. What about you, nice t-shirt specs with that scar super sexy wanna kiss? I am so confused. <gasps> you do wanna kiss me. <gasps> Oh, you're such a good kisser. Thanks. I practice on my hand. Whoa there. Don't get in the way of our love. He's underage. Bye-bye. Uh, well, she was nightmare fuel. My first kiss. Boy, oh, is your grandmother quite well? Give me the cup. Oh my gosh, your grandmother's going to die. She's going to drop dead. But I don't have anyone else who's going to take care of me. Nobody cares. Well, thanks for that. Oh, Miss Brown. Yeah? You won't be brown for very long. What, I'm getting married? No. You're going to turn white. Whoa! You can't just turn white, can you? Babes, this is Hogwarts. Anything can happen. Your aura is pulsing, dear. Are you in the beyond? I think you are. Bloody hell. You're going to date my sister. What? No. Give me the cup. <laughs> okay, I really think that this woman is drunk. My boy, you have the grim. The what? Ominous black kid. Take it away. <laughs> Taking the form of a giant spectral dog is among one of the darkest omens in our world. It's the omen <laughs> of death. Great. Wands at the ready. Neville! We all want to see Professor Snape in drag. Do it. I'm too sexy for my shirt. So sexy it hurts. Ridiculous! What? Oh my god, what the hell? Ha! Run! All right. Hey, Mr. Gingerbread Man, you want to tap dance? Oh, ridiculous! Ah, no, slip and slide, I don't like it! Oh, I love this place. Pavati! Mm. In what world is that less scary? What a freak. Harry! Please don't be Uncle Vernon in a towel. Oh, hey there, Scarhead, do you want to kiss me? Thank God. Ha! That's one of my lines. The Scarhead bit. Obviously not the kissing part. Sure. Shut up, Parkinson. No one likes you. I can't. Only a parent or a guardian can sign. Since I am neither, it would be inappropriate. You know my parents are dead. Yeah. And my guardians are abusive. Subjected me to years of psychological abuse. Kept me locked in a cupboard and didn't feed me. And those are the people you want to sign the form. Sorry, Potter. That's my final word. The fuck? I'm only letting it slide because you bought me that Nimbus 2000. Right, well, Sybil, I've put you in for the shot put. <laughs> Hoochie, you're in charge of the staff Quidditch teams. I want a nice, clean game from all of you. Not likely. I'm going to get you this year, Siv. Uh, yes, that's so. Remus, it's your first sports day. You're in the 100 metres and the 200 metres. No, that's not fair. Remus can't be in the 200. 200 metres is my medal. I win it every year. I remember that boy from his youth and he can run like a whippet. Well, that's what you get for using animal powers to win medals every year. I do not beat you at the 200 metres because I'm in cat form. I don't run in cat form. I beat you because you've got dungeon stamina. Very little sunlight and there's no stairs. I have to walk up and down to Gryffindor Tower every day. Thighs like rocks and buns of steel. Am I doing hammer throw this year? Yes, Pomona. Grasp your hammer firmly, spin and sharply let it go. Oh, what sport have I got this year? The long jump. Yeah. Yes, you're not dangerous at all, are you? You big ugly brute. Oh, what did you say to me? Slither your ass over here, I'ma tell you about yourself. Oh, snap. Yes, yeah, snap, I'ma snap your legs. There's something real ferrety about you when I eat ferrets for breakfast. Oh my god. Karate trap to your neck, boy. Please stop, no more. Don't you get in the way, Hagrid, I can take him. Buckbeak. Why you always gotta do this? Stop fighting the kids. Oh, how about you stop putting me in situations where I get disrespected? It ain't cute and I ain't taking it from that little ferret-ass greasy-haired goblin. Oh my god, calm down. He called me ugly, Hagrid. You know how I hate that. I ain't ugly, man. Professor Lupin won't be here today. He had a rough night. <gasps> Professor Lupin went on a midweek bender. What a legend. 
turn to page 394. We will be learning about werewolves. Werewolves. Shut up. Now, you have encountered boggarts. What do you think a werewolf's boggart might be? A giant flea. No. Lots of little fleas. No. A shock collar. The moon, maybe, transforms them, doesn't it? Anybody seen anything like that? What, like the moon? Yeah, every day. It was a full moon last night. Yes, Potter, it was. And who's not here today? Cedric Diggory! No. Try again. Potter's parents! Every time! No! Any ideas, Miss Granger? I'm sitting on a bad boy piece of information. You foul, loathsome, evil little cockroach! Hermione, oh, no! It's not worth it! Are you alright, mate? Yeah, I have no idea what just happened. <laughs> Give me one good reason why I shouldn't. Okay, uh, one. One good re- <clears throat> Literally just one. A singular one. Stop rushing me! <sighs> one, <clears throat> one reason. <clears throat> ha! I'm charitable! Are you, though? Yes, I kissed Pansy Parkinson last year. <clears throat> More than once. That was charity! You're pathetic. Ha! Look at your hair from the- <gasps> on you my face is insured bloody hell hermione that was are you all right that felt good i'm scared <sighs> hey hagrid what time they coming to do my nails hagrid does he know oi i just couldn't tell him well what does he think that guy with the massive axe is coming down here for told him they were coming to cut his talons cornelius i can't lie to you i'm not a big fan of your new secretary Dolores, yeah, she can be difficult. Difficult? A Rubik's Cube is difficult. She gives me Satan vibes, fudge. Just be careful. Remember who your real friends are. Right, all of you better be off. Sorry about your hippogriff, Hagrid. Yeah, sorry, Hagrid. Squeak, squeak, I'm a rat. Go on. <gasps> this is totally barbaric. Yeah, I feel really dreadful. Do I blend in with this pumpkin? Go, 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 go. Hey, you guys going already? You didn't even stroke me. <gasps> oh, no. He's lifting up the axe. Ow. <laughs> Harry, what the hell are you doing? What? Get in there. <sighs> no, I sat on that bad boy piece of information. He's a werewolf. That's why he's been skipping classes. Oh, there were no clues. Can you explain it again, but a bit slower? Ha <laughs> ha. Caught. In the act, all those years of bullying and I am the one to bring you in. How ironic. Ironic, maybe, but you're still a hook-nosed peasant. <laughs> Somebody call Filch. His curtains are so greasy, they're dripping. <laughs> Does Voldemort have no nose because you have an upper two? <laughs> Silence. You're going to get the Dementors kiss. At least the Dementors want to kiss me. It's not his fault he's kissable. What? What? You cutie. Let's go. I feel like there's more to the story. There's not. They're just dicks. Can you just let them explain? No! Please? No! Expelliarmus! Ow! How are you attacked a teacher? Killed one in first year, Hermione. Keep up. This is mental! Squeak, squeak, I'm a rat! Always been a rat, always gonna be a rat! Did the rat just talk? Oh, dang it. No! Headmaster, they've got the wrong man. Please believe us. It was Scabbers that done it. Sorry, did Cheeto Boy just say his rat did it? Yeah. He's not a rat. Well, he is a rat. He was my brother Percy. Balls of you now, thank you. Actually makes sense. Rats are really clever. Now, here's the plan. Harry, Hermione, you're going to take the TARDIS. Oh, Headmaster, could you... Sirius Black's at the top of the tower and he's really not guarded well at all, so you can just smash in there. Oh! This is some Cinderella business, though, because you've got to be back before the chime. Bloody hell, get off my leg, please! Listen, Weasley, stop getting in the way of the relationship! You're going to lose me money. And I love money. We've got the plan. What is going on? Don't forget the chicken pony. And Hermione, when you're done with your mission, you've got to give that time turner back to Minerva. She won't come on nights out with us without it because she gets bad hangovers and she needs it for the morning, so give it back. Okay, one last look at you two. Oh, so cute. It's time travel, Harry. Oh, can we save my parents? No. Is that really what my hair looks like from the back? Did you just nearly blow our cover because of your hair? It was so bad, Harry. Peaky, Peaky, we've got to go. Oh, I can't go right now. I've got an appointment. Shh. Beaky, it's not a real appointment. We've got to go. They're going to kill you. What kind of joke is this? It's not a joke, Buckbeak. We've got to go. Go, 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 go! Ow! <clears throat> Come on, Buckbeak. What part of appointment don't you understand? I just want to be pampered. What's wrong with you? 
I don't want toenails like Voldemort. You ain't seen those yet, you're lucky. Come on, Buckbeak, get the nice dead ferret. <gasps> Draco Malfoy. Dumbledore. Oh, oh my god, where's the chicken pony gone? <gasps> Cornelius, did you steal the chicken pony? Well, no. Oh, great, neither did we. It's gone four o'clock, shall we get on the sesh? Oh, you want to see my mini bar? Yes! His shot glasses are massive. No, please have a word to family. Uh. Oh, you have got to be kidding me. Harry Potter. What was that? Harry Potter! Oh, no! Here's your paper. Um, thanks. Can I have a word? Harry! Oh, my God. <gasps> <gasps> ah! Harry, did you put your name in the Goblet of Fire? Sorry, what? Oh, Did you put your name in the Goblet of Fire? Albus, calm down. I am calm. I've never been so calm. I have been anywhere near the Goblet of Fire. Please don't hurt me. Are you sure? Absolutely sure. Yes. Okay, well, then that's fine. That's fine. We got, we got fine. I'm not even mad. We're still friends, right? Hmm. Okay, then. So we'll let go of Potter's throat, yes? Oh, yeah. All right, Potter. What the f- What? Do nothing. Potter is a boy, not a piece of meat. Hmm, questionable. The boy is 14 and really only knows Expelliarmus. But he does really well with that Expelliarmus, doesn't he? He does. Be quiet, nobody asked you. We're all very aware about how you feel about Potter. Severus, his mother is dead. She didn't want you in the first place. Go and see a therapist. Anyway, parents entrust us with the care of their children. We can't keep putting them in situations where they're likely going to die. Oh, no one's going to die, Minerva. At least not Harry, anyway. I mean, he's the main character, so... <sighs> Minerva, go to a happy place. One day you'll be headmistress and everything will be better. Look, Minerva, why don't you go and be a cat somewhere? I've got some dreamies in my office if you want. Well, I do love dreamies. Sorted, then. Potter competes. Alistair, we never use transfiguration as a punishment. Surely Dumbledore told you that. What, even that guy? Yes, even him. I've been teaching the little Muppet for four years. It still takes selfish strength to not turn him into a dodo and leave him in the forest. What? You vicious little viper, I'm trying to help you. Absolute waste of space. No wonder your father doesn't love you. Well, at least I have a father. Hey, Potter? You're a dick. Don't you bring Potter's parents into this. Your mother's so nasty, she's had more rides in the Hogwarts Express. And don't get me started on that loser, legolas wannabe father of yours. Thinks he's hot stuff, I'd rather sit on a mountain troll. <laughs> don't you laugh, Weasley. Your mama's so fat, her Patronus is a cake. Shut up, Malfoy. I haven't seen it, but I'm pretty sure it's not a cake. Ugh, I'm too old for this. Turn him back into a ferret, no one cares. Oh, hell yeah. I hate this place. Hey, Sam, do you want to build a snowman? Oh, not this again. Do you want to come and play? No. I never see you anymore. Come out the door. It's like you've gone away. Get out. Oh, I knew you'd say that, but I can't find Minerva anywhere. Not my problem. Go away. Are you sure you haven't seen her? <laughs> yep. Bit suspicious. Okay, bye. Severus, you know, I love that man to pieces, but he can just be too much. Um... If I wake up and there's snow outside, I know it's time to hide. Ah! Minerva, you little silly, I knew you'd be in here. Come on, let's go build some snowmen. Oh, dang it. Sorry. Ugh, how long is this going to take? I'm going to bingo with Barty later and I want to have time to look cute. Excuse me, where was my invite? I would rather be going with you, but we can't all go. That is responsible. I suppose someone should be watching the school. No, that's not what I meant. He just acts real awkward now since you hexed him at the Christmas party. Nobody touches my bum without permission. You tell him, girlfriend. Ah, oh, yes, there's Harry. That's really far away. My egg. <gasps> oh my goodness, I've never been so worried. Did you see that? Harry nearly died. Burn him again. Me? I remind you too that the media are behind us. You're not making the school look very good. She writes what she wants anyway. Yeah, fake news. Ah! My egg! Oh no, the chain! Potter's got... It's coming this way! Ah, oh, Minerva, I know I'm irresistible. Get off me! Don't flatter yourself, Severus. I wouldn't touch you with a barge pole. Did you all see that? I was nearly crushed. Right, emergency meeting. Oh dear, what's the emergency? 
Cornelius' annual fancy dress party is coming up. Our haters are going to be there. We've got to look bomb. Not just bomb, bomb.com. A was working. Last year, we slayed it as Team Rocket, but we didn't win. Prepare for trouble. And make it double. <laughs> this year, I'm thinking Powerpuff Girls. I'm obviously Blossom. Minerva, you're Buttercup. Why am I Buttercup? Because you're a little sass pot that's always wearing green and cussing people out. Yeah, I suppose that makes sense. That means Severus, you're Bubbles. I'm not being Bubbles. Why not? You look great. No, can't I be Professor Utonium? Somebody else can be Bubbles. Hagrid has a bubblier personality than Severus. Yeah, but I've seen his Lizzo costume and it's great. Why a man great till he gotta be great? Who else is there? Filch can't come. A street cred would plummet lower than the floors he mops. There's my little buttercup. Severus, I'm your boss. You're going as Bubbles. Silence. The house of Godric Gryffindor has commanded the respect of the wizard world for nearly ten centuries. I will not have you in the course of a single evening besmirching that name by behaving like a babbling, bumbling band of baboons. As the wild party house, you will be expected to know the samba, the rumba, the tango, the foxtrot, the wobble, and the macarena. What about the cha-cha slide? No, no, that's too powerful. First thing, jazz hands. Oh, the Slytherins are doing this with Snape. Bloody hell, Snake Hip Severus. Ah, Mr. Weasley, will you join me, please? Do I have to? Oh, looks like it, mate. No, please, your right hand on my waist. Where? My waist, for Godric's sake. Don't know how I feel about this. Me either. Filch, music. DJ Filch, on the mix. If it hadn't been forgotten, I'd, go, I'd been married a long time ago. One, two, three, one, two, three. You're never gonna let me forget this. Never. Julia told you you'd be the first to dance. No. Yeah, I did just then. Weasley, what on earth are you wearing? Oh, Professor, you couldn't transfigure it a bit for me, could you? If I'm honest, I think someone might have piked the sponge in the staff room. So really, no, it wouldn't be a good idea. Is Lavender Brown doing the WAP dance? Did you not hear my speech about Gryffindor, for God's sake? <laughs> well, that was... Keep it together, Harry, keep it together. Okay, he's not that fit. It's just a dance. It doesn't mean that much. Oh my god, look how fit he is! We're getting married! El Bazaar thinks somebody spiked the- Every day I'm shuffling! You've got to hold me up, Minerva, I'm smashed! Show these kids how it's done! It was you, wasn't it? I can't feel my nose, I'm like Voldemort! <laughs> Bonjour, mademoiselle! Hello. Boy may not speak French, but I think you're bon appetit! Ugh. So you want to see my hurt? Minerva, Minerva, Minerva. What? I've got a secret I need to tell you. Or do you want to go somewhere private? I miss Harry's tragic dancing. Not a chance. Anyway, big news. I think Moody's an alcoholic. Oh, poor Alistair. What makes you say that? So the other evening, I went up to his office to ask where he got his leg from. His leg? He was having an evening drink. Your evening drinks sometimes start at two o'clock. The story's not about me. So I noticed the hair in his drink and I pointed it out to him and he still drunk it anyway. What a desperate minger! I love alcohol and even I'd fish it out. How did you see a hair through the hip flask? That's the other thing, he was drinking it out of a mug. Who's a mug? You are. <laughs> Only joking. We were just talking about a bit of a sensitive subject, it's probably best I don't tell anyone else. Okay, no worries. Moody's an alcoholic and I think he stole his leg. Albus, he's looking! Oh my god, embarrassing. Play it cool, Minerva, play it cool! He's probably looking at us out the side of his head right now, oh my god, I'm so scared. <laughs> Victor's gone to get drinks. Would you care to join us? No, me and Harry would not. Um, I kind of would though. What's got your wand in a knot? He's a bad influence. Underage drinking. It's non-alcoholic punch. I wouldn't be so sure looking at Dumbledore. Let's get this party started, right? Besides, you're fraternising with the enemy. And he's too old. Really? That's what you think? Oh my god, oh my god, Minerva, is that beef? I'm not sure, Elbus. Elbus? Shut up and dance that way! Honestly, Ronald, what is your problem? I haven't got a problem. Why are you so obsessed with me? Oh, they're falling out, Minerva! Do you think it's bait to dance in the corridor? Yes, it is, but we could probably edge a little closer. <laughs> you know the solution then, don't you? Next time there's a ball, pluck up the courage and ask me before somebody else does. The money is mine. The money is mine. Not as a last resort. That's completely besides the point. Didn't want to ask you anyway. And I thought your dress was supposed to be periwinkle. Are you colorblind? As if he's going to say that while he's dressed like his great aunt Tessie. Did you get a whiff? Nasty. Oh, guys, guys, guys. There you are. Where have you been? Well, Cho's gone to bed early because she has a headache. So I was going to hang out with Cedric at the after party. Never mind. Go to bed, both of you.
Oh. Wrong, you've spoiled everything! Hermione handled that perfectly. She blocked Harry and Cedric and kicked Ron to the curb. She's quite an ugly cry though, ain't she? Don't be rude. It's true though. <laughs> Egrid's making moves. Where? Are you sure you don't want to see my heart? <gasps> hey, Potter. What now? Oh, Cedric. You are right, mate? Yeah, Potter, are you? Just realised that I never thanked you, you know, for the tip about the dragons. Oh, no worries. You're welcome. Nah, no, I've thought of a better way to thank you. Way better. Right. So the prefect's bathroom, I know you'd never been in there, but it's pretty lit. Perfect place for a long, hot soak. Hermione! You should go there later, Potter. Have a splash. Bring your egg. Hermione! Anyway, Potter, see you around. Oh, Hermione, Hermione, I was just thinking about Vic. No one cares about your love life, Hermione. Did you just hear that? I think Cedric Diggory wants to smash in the prefect's bathroom. Cedric Diggory? Hermione, I'm more worried about what the egg's for. You and Cedric, I really don't see it. I'll love you forever, Ced. You will. Yeah, and that's the problem. I kind of can. I think we could do it if we try. Right, this either does something or Cedric Diggory wants me. There was definitely tension on that bridge. So, moment of truth. <coughs> Cedric Diggory's into me. I still got it. You certainly do, Harry Potter. It's me, Moaning Myrtle. Oh, absolutely not. I was thinking about you the other day while I was in my toilet. Oh, things were getting real steamy in there. There are some messed up things about this school, but this is definitely one of the worst. Do you know where the name Moaning Myrtle comes from? Oh, oh fam, that's grim. Nice. Package. Myrtle, I'm sorry, but it's never gonna happen. Even if I told you to try putting the egg underwater? Oh, that's a good shout. <coughs> Why is this dead girl so horny? I'm a child! So am I. No, you're not. Even the actress that plays you is 37. Ow. Cedric, if you wanted to take me on a date, you could have just asked. So it was you that started that rumour, Potter. I wouldn't say I started a rumour, you know, I just asked a few people their opinions. Hate to burst your bubble, Potter, but this is a porky. Don't think either of us are responsible. So this is Tom Riddle's grave. So who could possibly be behind... Squeak, squeak, I'm a rat. Cedric, my darling, we have to leave. What? Oh. Oh. What an ugly baby. Go, Harry Potter. You're not coming anywhere near Harry. I got you. <sighs> Avada Kedavra! No! Joke's on you. I don't die, I sparkle. No! Hedrick had so much potential. Oh, is that the ship name? I prefer pottery, personally. Yeah, 100. Guys, I miss him! Wait, why am I turning into Dumbledore? No, Harry, you love Hermione, not Cedric! Get off him, for God's sake! You're in public! It's nasty! He's dead! He's what? Dead! Voldemort's back! He asked me to bring his body back, I couldn't leave him! There, there, Harry, but I really think if you just give Hermione a chance... Now's not the time, Dumbledore! A boy has been killed. I said someone was going to die, didn't I, Severus? Yeah, in that other parody. Oh, don't worry, Harry, don't worry. Look, I'm stroking you. Your hair's really soft. That's my son! That's my boy! How is everyone else so chill? I'm literally freaking out right now. Ah! Amos, I know this looks bad. It looks bad, but I'll do you a deal. You can pick any kid, any kid from the stands as a replacement. Hermione's grades are quite good. You're coming with me, Potter. Get your hands off him, you leg-stealing alky! Professor, I don't want to freak you out, but I think you're having a stroke. <laughs> your face has gone proper wonky. How are your arms? <laughs> Just let me call Madame Pomfrey. Expelliarmus. <laughs> Moody. I was willing to overlook you stealing the leg, but stealing Harry Potter, not on my watch. Aw, thanks. You're an alcoholic, Moody. You can't be drinking from that hip flask as much as you do. It's made you crazy. Even if you didn't steal the leg, you're so drunk you can't even remember where you got it from when I asked you. Oh, uh, what's wrong with him? There's something in his trunk. Not my problem, Sev. Moody's so drunk his face is melting. No, Elvis, the trunk is talking. Oh, would you look at that? It's me, Alistair. Aha, uh -huh. polyjuice potion. Hmm, that doesn't mean he's not drinking other things as well. I know I'm right about this. Who are you then? Sir, that's the doctor. Doctor who? I've got nobody. 
all on my own. God, he's weird. Are you sure you're related? He's so scrawny. Ah, oh, no. That's just because we didn't feed him. All right, Big D. Nice vest. Thanks. I'm being sarcastic. You look like a turkey in tinfoil. Stop beating up kids. Very brave all of a sudden. You weren't last night in your sleep. What was that? Crying in your sleep. Don't kill Cedric. <gasps> Don't kill him. He's got so much to live for. He's handsome and charismatic. It's so true. Who's Cedric then? Your boyfriend. That is it. I'm done. Are you all right? No, I'm not. Don't you ever say his name again. You're not worthy. I'll kill you. Oh my God, was he really your boyfriend? Well, no. If I'd have known he was actually your boyfriend, I wouldn't have joked about it. You're going to be sorry. I'm already sorry. Please don't stab me. <laughs> Interrogator Cornelius Fudge. And witness for the defense, Albus Percival Wolfric Brian Dumbledore. So you heard that the time and place of the trial had changed? No, Fudgy, actually. That wasn't brought to my attention. Luckily, I've been sat next door in McDonald's for the last three hours preempting something like this, you little viper. <sighs> Boy, you produced the Patronus charm in the presence of a muggle. Do you deny it? No. Then you're guilty. This is so dumb. I was being attacked by Dementor. Dementor, Dementor! Ooh. Also, the muggle in question is my cousin who already knows that magic exists. Harry... I'm your lawyer. Shut up. Listen here, Fudge. You want a witness? Well, Mama brought home the bacon. Drum roll, please. <laughs> Figgy baby, it's your time to shine. Well, one of them was very large, and the other rather skinny. Not the boys, the Dementors. <laughs> Get it together, Felicia. Everything turned cold, like all the happiness had gone from the world. Better, yes, but more emotion. It was like depression personified, like I could never escape. As you can see from exhibit this one, this is a bona fide Dementor attack. Dementors don't just simply wander into suburbs and happen across wizards. The odds are astronomical. Call me Miss Marple, but I don't think anyone's saying it was an accident. Oh, excuse me. Oh, yes, of course, you are excused. Please leave. <laughs> Fudgy. Before her, we were tight, okay? Listen to me, man. If you run the Dementors, but the Dementors are running amok, you don't run them. Who runs them, Fudge? Yeah, yeah. Mm. He's not back. Ugh. Right then, this just got serious. Oh yeah, hands on hips serious. You all ought to be ashamed of yourself. The law clearly states that in a life and death situation, you can use underage magic. It does say that. I thought that as well. Laws can be changed. Changed to convict people just because you don't like them. What is it? Don't like his glasses? Jealous because he's got a full head of hair and you don't? Upset because he's the chosen one and the only person who's going to choose you is that creep? <laughs> Look at yourselves. A whole court proceeding for a case of underage magic. You are all sat there making a mockery of justice. And if you convict this young man today, you do not deserve to wear those fancy hats. I love this hat. Same. You will be just as bad as any Dementor. You might not take his soul, but you'll be taking his future. <gasps> Cleared of all charges. Cleared of all charges. Ha! <laughs> <sighs> Professor Dumbledore. Who are you? Leave me alone. What? Now, I'm quite aware that Cedric Diggory perished last year. Of course, it's upsetting R.I.P. Cedric, but life moves on. Get over it. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, I'm getting to you, man. There's some new teachers. Anyway, back to me. <clears throat> Minerva, what does this clown think it's doing? She wants to stop. He doesn't like sharing attention. Hmm, he's like an ancient bearded baby. Oh my god, the audacity. Is she getting up? Don't you come walking over here. Don't. Stop. Stop. <gasps> Thank you, headmaster. I'm going to drop kick you across Gryffindor table. We should maybe do something. No, let's just let it happen. Is Dumbledore shaking? Looks like it. Are you scabby ankle biter? Your hat's not going to protect you when I sucker punch you in the back of your head. Us at the Ministry take education very seriously. Seriously, move away from my podium or you're going to die. This year's going to be fun. So fun. Go, shoot. Did you not see that? It was sexy. Oh. Okay, everyone, staff meeting. Mini Moo? Here. Sevy Baby? Here. Poochie Mama? Yep. Popcorn? Here. Bill Phil? Good morning, everyone. Good morning, Phileas. Aww. No, 
not while I'm taking attendance. This is serious. Hagasaurus Rex. All right. Shouty Sprouty. Present and correct. Only you're getting dirt on the floor. Bug Eyes McGee. Hello. And Jabba the Hutt. Jabba. <laughs> Dolores, you're Jabba. I beg your pardon? Hey Jabba, where's Jar Jar? Minerva, don't do Jar Jar things like that. I love you, Jabba. Oh, it's so nasty. So <clears throat> Please ignore the deformed gargoyle that has joined our class today. If we ignore it, it might go away. Well then. You applied first for the Defense Against the Dark Arts position, correct? <sighs> In fact, you've applied every year since you started teaching at Hogwarts. Yes. But you've been unsuccessful? Obviously. Funny, I didn't even have to try. And I hate children. Me too. What do you have that I don't have? Dumbledore's not fair. Well, at least Potter's mother got you ready for years of constant rejection. <laughs> Speaking of massive losers, I should head to Trelawney's class. Slap. Bloody hell. I had to slap someone and she's going to be my boss soon, so. Yeah, it's not worth risking your job over. Thanks, Ginger. Could you just predict something for me? My inner eye is sleeping. Pity. No, wait! I do see something, yes. You have cat plates because even animals can't stand you. What? You're thinking about buying one of those boyfriend pillows, yes? One of those ones that feels like it's holding you back. No. You're lonely because everybody hates you, yes, and you won't allow yourself to cry. But you still do in your sleep and it's pissing off the portraits. <laughs> <gasps> Cornelius Fudge will tell you that his birthday's been cancelled, but it's a lie. He's just repulsed by you. That is quite enough. <gasps> you will be kidnapped by centaurs and they will stamp on your piggy face and it will still be better than the face you have now. And nobody will get you a get well soon card <gasps> because they'll low-key hope that you never come back. <clears throat> Sorry, Professor. Did you say something? Pack a suitcase. Something you would like to say, dear? Oh, there are several things I would like to say. Were you dropped on your head as a baby, Dolores? Did your parents not love you? I beg your pardon? Beg all you want, you haggard goblin. I'm just getting started. If you were my baby, I'd have left you on a doorstep. No offense, Potter, I didn't want to leave you there. Oh, thanks, Professor. That's really nice. Listen here, you pompous pink-clad porcupine. Stop trying to bang the minister. He doesn't want you. You make him heave. Lies. All lies. He told me he'd rather have a romantic night in with Voldemort, and he's a homicidal maniac with no nose. <gasps> and it's not a wonder to look at you pink every day. What are you, ten? Ah, uh, someone call Madame Pomfrey, because Dolores got burned. Thank you, Minerva. Take Sybil inside. Thank you, Headmaster. Anything you'd like to say? Skank. Oh, it's been the longest day today. Minerva, please can we go back to your house and watch that show I like? Which one? The one with the funny Americans that are always getting into shenanigans. Oh, I know the one. The one we watched last Thursday. Oh, yes. So no one told me life was gonna be this way. Pa 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 pa. Your job's a joke. You're broke. Your love life's D.O.A. But I'll be there for you. Mm, that's questionable. I'll be there for you. You're just really quite unreliable. I'll be there for you. We'll be there for you too. Wow, Minerva, you really carried that well done. <laughs> Sit down, Potter. Now, is it true? Is what true, Professor? That you shouted at Professor Umbridge. Yeah. That you called her a liar in front of her entire classroom and told her that he who must not be named had returned. Well, yeah. Have a biscuit, Potter. Have a what? What's that noise? Sounds a bit like Dumbledore. Oh my god! Lads! It's happening! What's happening? Minnie and Umbridge round two! Fight! It's a real fight! Come on! The tea is scalding! Oh, here we go. Minerva, I think you're just a massive... Are you gonna call me a pussy because I'm a cat? Imaginative. Now listen here, you little hobbit. I will backhand you down these stairs. Woo! You don't turn up at my school and start cutting my children. Sorry, who's school? 
I will shove those quills where the sun don't shine. Fred. George. Harry. I have spoken to Cornelius and again with the fudge thirst. It's embarrassing. You are a spiteful slug and nobody wants to spend any time in your vicinity secreting your evil all over our castle. No wonder Filch follows you around with a mop. I'll follow you. That's so nasty. Next time I'll have you. I'm quaking. Yeah, yeah. Bye, bye, bye. Get out. Rude. Harry, we've got a plan. McGonagall gave us some- I don't care! Get out! I am... Um, hi. Hello, Harry. I heard Umbridge gave you a hard time the other day. I'm sorry. It's alright. It's worth it. I feel like he's watching over us. Yeah. Learning this stuff. I just wonder if maybe he'd have known it. What are you talking about? He was a skilled and talented wizard, Cho. He knew this stuff. What kind of girlfriend are you? It's like you don't even know him. What's your problem, Harry? Sorry, sorry, I, I just... Miss him! Oh, me too, mistletoe. I'm gonna imagine it's him, okay? Same. What? What? <laughs> He's doing this on purpose now. I thought once Cedric was out the way, surely Hermione's the next choice. For goodness sake, it's not a big deal. Not a big deal? I am literally invested in this. The devil with Boris and his rules. And since when did we accommodate them in history? Since he threatened to sue us, Minerva, we're not made of money. We don't want the students or staff to be catching COVID before Christmas. I don't want to get sued, Minerva! I'm broke! Look how dusty my robes are! Oh, for goodness sake. Are you sure I don't have time to go back and put my hair in a bun? I just feel out of sorts with it hanging there all willy-nilly. Forgive me, Professor, but I think your hair is the least of our problems. All right, sorry. Professor Dumbledore. You look amazing! Ooh. Your hair looks great like that, accentuates your cheekbones, you look ten years younger! Professor Dumbledore You should wear it like that more often, like when we go to the bar! I wish I could get dragged out of bed and look that good. Yeah, McGonagall's hair looks great, can we get to the point? Oh, Potter, do you think so? Thank you! I was thinking about doing something new with mine, maybe a bar- Look at me! Rude. What? Your hair's the same as always, Harry, just a bit sweaty, not everything's about you! Sorry, I don't mind. Well, I do! My girl looks like a goddess and she deserves her moment! Headmaster, you wish to... <gasps> Minerva, looking good! You guys are too much, honestly. Baby girl, if I didn't bat for the other team... <laughs> There's such a good hype man, Harry. I can see that, yeah. Anyway, why are all these depressed gingers in my office? As you all know, Minerva took over the budgeting last year. So there's a little spare money in the kitty. Ugh. I've got some ideas. Couldn't we use the money to employ a full-time psychotherapist? Potter's a head case. I'd rather he didn't wake me in the middle of the night, telling me that he's a snake and he killed Arthur Weasley. Mmm, Cho Chang doesn't stop crying. The staff could use it too. A portrait told me you've got a mannequin with a ginger wig on it. Mind your own business. You've never gotten over Grindelwald. <gasps> Don't say his name! And I haven't been on a date since my husband's tragic death. So boring! I've got two options for you. Listen to this. Inflatable obstacle course on the lake. No. Why? The squid would try to kill the students. Just adds to the fun. Then what about a staff trip to Magaluf? I'm never going to Magaluf with you again. Heard about that one, Minerva. Didn't realise you were an accomplished pole dancer. You shut your damn mouth! I miss Grindelwald, he'd have come Magaluf with me! Merry Christmas! Now open your presents, open them! Oh, Elbus, it's, uh, what is it? It's a cat onesie from Primark, very expensive muggle brands. Well, I've already got quite a realistic cat onesie, but okay. Yeah, but I got a smatching ones. I've got a phoenix one, Severus has got a snake one. This is a sleeping bag. No, it's not. Yeah, it is, you've just painted it green. You guys are so ungrateful. Not going in. Huh? Well, shut up, you furry faced troglodyte. Nobody's talking to you. <sighs> now, this is what I got so far. You're jealous that I actually have friends and people want to be around me, and there ain't no Fudge's army because Fudge is a stupid name and Dumbledore's army sounds way better. Maybe we shouldn't have called it that. I don't know. It just Miss Cedric. Oh my god, me too. It's embarrassing. We all know you're balding, Fudge. We all talk about it when you ain't there. No. I'm going to knock that hat off in a minute and show everyone. Umbridge, your outfits. Disgusting. I speak for everyone when I say I'd rather be blind than look at you. Mad Sladeen vibes from Doctor Who. Slower. I've had enough of this conversation, actually. It's really boring. Besides, I see you all getting closer to me. Don't you know about social distancing? Caca! Besides, my Uber's arrived. By the way, fudge, this whole meeting, Umbridge has been sniffing you. <gasps> no, I haven't. Oh. Yeet goes the hat. Oh. 
My hat. You should shave it. I love your hairline. So, Potter, you want to be an aura? <laughs> well, yeah, that's kind of what I thought. Well, you'll need to get excellent green. Um, <clears throat> Minerva, I don't know why you're giving the boy false hope. I'm not. Potter has every chance of becoming... Potter has about as much chance of being an aura as Dumbledore being headmaster again. So a great big mess of humongous chance, Potter. That's my girl, you tell her, Minnie. What's that? Potter, if you really want to be an aura, I will do everything in my power to make it happen. I will personally tutor you myself. A little unprofessional, Minerva. Just because you failed to have children of your own doesn't mean you get to favour. She did not just say that I will come out of this closet. I don't even care. Is Alpha Stumbledore in your supply closet? No. Have you met the man? He's never been in a closet in his life, you sour-faced dirt sack. Minerva, you get my pretty name out of your mouth. Get ready, you cantankerous cockwomble. I'm about to spit some facts. Yes! Oh my god, Enter part three. Minerva! Dumbledore, what do we do? Just shut up and watch the carnage! You are a petulant prawn. What? Because I wear pink? That, and because you're a low-life bottom feeder with a minuscule brain. I throw you into the lake, but even the giant squid knows better than to taste your bitter beef. Read that to filth, Minnie! Well, your robes are fabulous and decadent. Do you see this velvet here? Handmade and tailored to me. Bet you can't get anything tailored. No seamstress would want to go near you, you bulbous flesh lump. What have I done to deserve this? Exist, you classless catastrophe. Not to mention causing bodily harm to my students on the regular, you reprehensible reptile. Also for being a minister-sniffing hog hag. Harry, it's too much! Sharp Dumbledore, I'm trying to write this down for Hermione and Ron. Hog hag. Encouraging Filch to simp over you. You're my Beyonce, Dolores. It's sickening. Now get out of my classroom before I shove my wand in your eye. Fine, I'm leaving. That was sick, Professor. Thank you, Potter. So, how was your meeting with McGonagall? All right. She's really set on me being an aura now. She was all like, I'm a pusher, Harry. I'm a pusher. What, like a drug pusher? I don't know. Bloody hell. We've got a bit of a problem. Someone started a rumour that I'm selling drugs. Oh yeah, I heard that one this morning. I had a queue of 30 students outside my office wanting homework advice. Yeah, I wonder who's been spreading that one then. I swear to Godric Elbus, I'm gonna beat your ass. Never! I saved the situation! Ha, try and explain that one. The rumour already existed, I just added some details to make it less bad. I am gonna throat punch you so hard! A teacher selling Class A drugs to students, that's dreadful! However, a trusted professor selling a bit of the gillyweed as a side hustle from a reputable source like Professor Sprout, most of us are doing that! <gasps> Elbus! Only to the older ones! Plus it brings up your street cred. I'll hold him, you punch. Deal. <laughs> and then she says, I'm claustrophobic, Darren! They don't get it! Elvis, it's too much! Oh, <coughs> that's the Wicked Witch of the West, quick. I'll transfigure you. Oh, freaking penguin! Enter. Ah, deputy. Headmistress. Minerva, I'm here to talk about the lack of cohesion within the faculty. <gasps> what do you mean about lack of cohesion? No way. <laughs> Everyone hates you. As my deputy, you are supposed to support me. I don't support terrorists. I miss Grindelwald so bad. That toucan sounds like Dumbledore. I'm a penguin and I'll peck you. It's a hornbill and he won't. I want the same support you gave to Albus Dumbledore. I am not going to braid your hair and tell you that you're pretty. That's a me and her thing, okay? Best friends five ever because it's longer than four. Minerva, you are trying my patience. Bold of you to assume that I need to try. You're not worth any of my effort whatsoever. You will regret this. I doubt it. Don't you want to know the secret of your scar? Hang on, it's called secrets. I'll tell you everything. Right. Hey, Paris Hilton. What? I hope you've glued that wig on tight. Stupefy! Harry, what's the plan? Run, 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 run! Damn it. Give it to me. It's not gonna happen, Elsa. Let it go. Mm. Oh, hello. Alright. I just want to warn you to not do something you'll regret. I want like punching kids. Bah! Oh! Bloody corpus, bitch! Regrets! Come on, he did it to me. No, I've done it to you! Alright, Neville, come on. Ah! All right, Potter, just come for that prophecy, innit? You ain't having it. Are you sure, fam? Because I can fly faster than you can run. Not true. <laughs> Give it a rest, bruv. You ain't even fast. Stupefy! <gasps> That's cheating! This has gone far enough. Reducto! Oh, no! Wow. You have nice skin. Yeah, I do. That was weird. 
What are those voices saying? There aren't any voices, Harry. Well, you said that about the basilisk voices and then again about my mum's scream, so why don't you shut up? I can hear them too. See? Did you really think you stood a chance? Well, I do beat you guys like every year, so yeah. Shut up. Give me the prophecy or your friends die. Mm, what about half the prophecy and then half of them live? Harry! I just want to know my options. I'm under a lot of pressure. Oh, have you seen this girl's hair from the back? Proper messy, bruv. <laughs> Prophecy. Now. Ah, victory. Hey, Lucy. Want a sandwich? What? Knuckle sandwich. Ah! <laughs> Everybody chill out. The fun has arrived. Ah, oh, I'm getting beaten so badly when I get home. All right, cyborg man. Watch yourself. I'm feeling a little moody. Ah! Nice wig, Lucy. What's it made of? It's mum's chest hair. Nice one, James. <laughs> Ready to die. None of us are going to die tonight. <sighs> Bye, Karen. Let's kill me. Let's kill me. About a cadaver. What? No! Bomboleo! Please, no! Bomboleo! Harry! Why is he on mute? Snap out of it, Harry! Just give me a sec! I'm done. Now I'm gonna kill you! No! Come to get me! Yes! See, I knew I was fast! Crucio! <laughs> you heartless, filthy half blood! Pardon? Crucio, me? My cousin just died! You killed him! So? You've got to mean it, Harry. Oh, God, not you. Last thing I need right now. I was only trying to help. I don't need your help. I'm just not evil enough for this. You're weak. Big talk, chicken arms. I ain't seen you at the gym recently. Lies. I can do 12 push-ups now in a row. <laughs> you should have stayed at home, old man. Should have left you at that orphanage, but it's too late now. Come on, fish face. Let's give these people a show. Move, Harry. Ow. So, I'm a head out. Maybe I should do that too. No, Harry, you have to stay and watch. But first, how's the lighting looking? Do I look good? Wind in the hair, is it cool? Maybe you should concentrate, sir. Don't tell me what to do. <gasps> okay, fine, fair point. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, ball of your breath, disgusting. <sighs> oh, okay, I see it now, I see it. So, eat him. Yes. I know I'm a snack, but not for you. Back, you fireworm. Hey, Tom, I hope you grew some gills when your nose fell off. Hey, Dory, you doing all right in there? Wow, that's actually pretty cool, sir. Oh, only pretty cool? Get out the way! Ow, why? Not everything's about you. This is me time. No! Oh, see, Harry, that was your fault distracting me. Ow, 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 ow! Man's blowing up the whole building. Vandalism, I'm not paying for it. I don't have the money. Don't you even stop. Why can't you just help me out? What? No, don't ask. So basically... Oh, make it stop. She's smart. He's reasonably smart. I mean, Minerva's saying that she's going to end up with Ronald Weasley, but I just don't see it. No. Exactly. A twin, maybe. But Ronald... Hey, Voldy, why don't you just kill me at this point? Put me out of my misery. Harry, no one likes a drama queen. So the bet started out 40 galleons, but I doubles or nothings it in their second year. Ha, <laughs> rookie mistake. Don't you laugh at me. You don't even wear shoes. Did you bet on us when we were at school? Of course. In fact, you were the year below Minerva. I remember she hated you so much and I was convinced that it was like going to be a hate to love kind of thing, but <laughs> obviously not. <sighs> Can you imagine? Yeah, in hindsight, that was a bad bet and I did lose a lot of coin. <laughs> hey, that's not fair. I don't speak parcel force. Uh, he wants us to get back to business. I tell you, since Cedric died, proper party pooper. Hmm. We're ready. See, he's all talk, that guy, and then he just turns into a load of sand, like, what a loser. Oh, did we win? Oh, Mr. Sandman, give me a dream. Harry, do the butt-butt bums. Oh, I can't right now. Oh, you all right? Oh, I don't think so. You can't do this to me, Harry. I'm too young for you to die. Oh, if you see a long tunnel, stay away from the light. You've lost, old man. Well, that's rude. I take it back, Harry. Follow that tunnel wherever you want. What's going on? Look at me. Nobody wants to! You're so ugly! <laughs> oh no, he's doing yoga and he's possessed! There's no coming back from that! Bagsy, I'm the leader now. <laughs> you know what? Nah, no, I've had enough of this. Mate, you ain't all that! What? You're trash! I beat you every time and I'm a kid! <laughs> you will lose everything. Says the man who lost his nose. And his hair. And his shoes. Cut your toenails! <laughs> Manky. You can tell me all about that toss of Harry Potter. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, what am I going to tell her my name is? 
Gary Spotter, Barry Trotter, Larry Hutter, oh, Larry Hutter, yeah. What was that noise? Um, I'm not sure. Hey, Hazza, you all right? It's me, it's Dumbledore. Oh, God. Oh, don't mind that. That's um, just my granddad. He likes to wear his dressing gown in public. Okay. Just give me a sec. Dumbledore, what are you doing? That hot girl was talking to me. Not gonna lie, Harry. I'm putting it on block because what about you and Miss Granger? What? Me and Hermione are just friends. Incorrect. I ship it. Plus, if she ends up with Ron, then I owe Minerva 80 galleons. You've been betting on our love lives. Sorry, it's not like much else is going on at Hogwarts. People die all the time. Well, that's negative. You know, I had a man once. Not sure I care. He knew how to treat me. Promised me the world. Good for you. Not really. Turns out he meant it. Was going to kill everyone so we could run it together. God, I miss him. Are we going somewhere? Oh, wow, this is spooky, Harry, look. Sir, what are we doing? Oh, Professor, the ceiling's bleeding. Oh, how's the, how's the look? Who am I? I can touch you now. Ah. Good one, sir. Oh, are you going to lick it? That is dotty. He's definitely here. Who? That chair. You are warped. Well, that's a real handsome armchair. Would be a shame if I didn't get a chance to sit on it. Merlin's beard, Albus. Oh, Riz, there you are, you little cutie. Nice upholstery. Thanks, I come by the stuffing naturally. Yeah, you're a little hunky-chunky, aren't you? You did not ruin my evening so that you could flirt with a sofa. Flirting? Harry, shut up. I don't know how many times I have to tell you I'm not taking the job. That's not even why I came, Horace. I wanted to introduce you to my best friend. Don't know what McGonagall's going to say about that. Well, no one's going to tell her. My main man, Moneybags, has a pee. Ooh, very rich. So, whose house is this? Muggle family, they're on holiday. Oh, I'd love a holiday. I keep telling the gang that we should go, but they're all like, there's a war, we can't. That's exactly why we should go. I don't want to die having not had a last session Ibiza. That's true. Do you want to go? Think about it while I put this house back together. Magic. It's so cool. I'm gonna go drop off the kids at the pool. You two get to know each other. But remember, Horace, he's Dumbledore's army, not slug club, so don't try and collect him or anything. I'm his fave. You have your mother's eyes. Why does everyone just go straight for that? Just trying to diffuse the tension. I have a picture, you know, look. Mama. Very bright student she was, lovely Lily. Oh my god! What? Horace, Horace, please, can I have these knitting patterns? I love knitting patterns. Okay. <gasps> well, we got what we came for. Let's go. What? Bye. Fine, I'll take the job, but I want to raise. These are mad times, Albus, mad. Okay, Horace, sweetie, we'll see you at the start of term. Thinks he's getting a raise. <laughs> Hogwarts just doesn't have that kind of money. It kind of seems like Hogwarts has quite a bit of money. Well, if you must know, we're in a bit of a tight spot. I just sent the centaurs on holiday to Disneyland, and that cost a bomb. You sent the centaurs to Disneyland? Well, I had to make amends after Umbridge last year, didn't I? Had to book out the whole park, though, so the muggles didn't see. Very expensive. Right. Sorry about ruining your evening, though. That girl was very pretty. Yeah, she was, wasn't she? All that big brown hair, those brown eyes, intelligent looking. Kinda reminds me of someone else we both know. Can you just take me home? I'm gonna go try again tomorrow. <gasps> no, you're freaking not. You're coming with me. Why? Um, important order business. Come on. <gasps> Harry, what did you do to your glasses? Oculus Repero. Later that same evening. Dear Miss Granger, the Ministry has received intelligence that today at 928 in Diagon Alley, you performed Oculus Repero in a crowded street full of witnesses. This is in clear violation of the decree for the restriction of underage sorcery. You are hereby expelled from Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. Hoping you are well, Mafalda Hopkirk. Do you know what hurts the most? We're going to lose the war without that girl and Harry's just going to break his glasses again tomorrow. Hear me out, we join the Death Eaters. Bellatrix always seems like she's having fun. It might not be that bad. Severus, we need to have a talk. Oh, yeah? What are you doing for Valentine's Day? I don't see why that's any of your business. Don't be catty, Sev. That's Minerva's job. I'm only asking because me and Minerva have talked about it and... He wants to invite you to Palantine's Day. Valentine's Day? Yeah, better than any Valentine's Day I've ever had, to be fair. We do makeovers, face masks, paint.
find each other's nails We have fajitas and watch films Gossip about our enemies And then play Mario Kart on the Nintendo Wii He is a monster on the Rainbow Road Um, sure, yeah, I'll come The rule is no exes talk though, it just triggers Ah, Grindy Just promise that the evening won't end with me set in the middle Stroking both your heads while you cry about Lily and Grindelwald I promise nothing It's gonna be so good Oh, I do love you too Oh. Help! No. Harry, what's she doing? To the left. Take it back now, y'all. Not the cha-cha slide, it's too powerful. Hands on your knees, hands on your knees. Everybody clap your hands. Why is it when something happens, it is always you three? It's Harry's fault. What? If he'd have picked Draco on the first day, none of this would have happened to us. <laughs> and then he'd be Severus's problem, can you imagine? Oh, hell no, I don't want him. Gee, thanks, guys. It's a joke, Potter, stop whining. Do you know how much extra paperwork I have to do because of you three? Not to mention the sleepless nights, the migraines. The grey hair, the crow's feet. What's your excuse? You're supposed to be in your 30s. I already have Becky carrying Hogwarts for the last 20 years. Do you think Dumbledore cares about Ofsted inspections? He doesn't. Philia says time for a social life. The Ravenclaws just do their homework. They don't kill anyone. Or hijack Thestrals. Or bring back dead bodies. Make fun of my nose. They do do that. Assholes. Oh my god, do you know what else I found out? Caca. That noise complaint from my birthday, it was August the long bottom. <gasps> Caca. In it, girls just vexed because I didn't invite her and I didn't invite her because she always wears that hat and it stinks. Professor? That's a pain, my main man, get in here. All right, sir. Yeah, I was just checking up on you, really, wondering how your classes are going. Oh, thanks for asking, sir. Yeah, they're going quite... And your extracurricular activities? Oh, you mean like Quidditch? Let's cut the chit-chat. You and Miss Granger, how's it going? So that's why I'm here. Harry, I told you at the start of the year, I've got a lot of money rides in on you and Miss Granger. I'm not going to snog my best friend just because you're going to win some money, sir. That's short-sighted, Harry. You're not thinking of the bigger picture. If I win that money, that spare money that I can share with my friends. We're friends, aren't we, Harry? Sorry, sir, are you bribing me to snog Hermione? <gasps> I would never do that. No. <sighs> at least tell me you're sabotaging Ron. I really thought you cared for a minute about how I was doing at school. <sighs> You've been no fun since Cedric died. <gasps> I guess while you're here, we may as well look at some Voldemort memories or whatever. Another student nearly killed Albus. We need to... Oh, shut up, Lavender's here. Ow, one more. Oh, my God. Who's that next to your boyfriend's bed? <gasps> Oh, tell her how you feel. You bucktooth homewrecker, what are you doing here? Yes, my friend's been poisoned, you daft dimbo. Friends? You barely know him. Whose name's written in his underwear? His own. Lucky guess. I'm his widow. Me. He's not dead. Didn't Lavender used to be black? Yeah, Minerva, but you can't just ask people why they're white. Carry on, Michael Jackson. <sighs> you hear that? My presence revived him. What did he say? Hermione, what a snack. <gasps> Not a snack, a whole damn meal. And I'm hungry. Oh my god. Oh, this has gone better than I could have dreamed. The level of disrespect. He said I'm a snack. Oh my god, oh my god, Minerva, you will never guess what I just saw. Albus, me and Severus are busy right now. We've got a bit of a situation. Your situation can wait. What I just saw, mind-blowing. Well, tell us then so we can get on. I just saw Draco Malfoy go into the boys' toilets, closely followed by, you'll never guess who, Harry frickin' Potter. It's Drarry confirmed. Albus, that's what we... There was banging, heavy breathing. It sounded real passionate. I was like, I'm not going in there. That's hella cringe. They were dueling each other, Albus, and if you'd have just done your job, Malfoy... Malfoy wouldn't be in the hospital wing. Precisely. Oh, so they weren't. Well, then that doesn't make any sense. Why won't Harry just get with Hermione for me? <gasps> Are you cheating on our bit? Typical. No, no money has passed hands. Harry wouldn't take it. What am I going to do with you? Throw him off the astronomy tower. <laughs> <laughs> Severus, you're too much. You kill me. <laughs> I do, don't I? <laughs> well, being top of the class was fun while it lasted. I'm going to miss this book. Close your eyes. That way you can't be tempted. Do I have to? Seems a bit... <laughs> dumb. Yes. Oh. Alright. Sorry. <laughs> Ginny, you alright? It might be my PTSD, but I'm feeling really vulnerable right now. You really are taking ages. <gasps> that was my nostril. You were the one that said close your eyes. I could stay hidden up here too, if you like. <laughs> Why would anyone want that? <laughs> Actually, Dumbledore probably would, to be fair. What? Nothing. Don't worry about it. Listen up! 
the next person who sees Harry Potter, you tell him he's required in my office immediately. Okay? Yeah? All right. Thank you. Move out my way. Your hair is winter fire. January embers. My heart burns there too. Yeah, that's good. Harry, your hair's on fire and I've got heartburn. Ah, oh, stupid. Um, nothing's on fire, Harry. Huh, famous last words. It's not a joke. That's my freaking garden. Is that Bellatrix? Oh, yeah. Wait, Harry. I suppose it is kind of dangerous. Not that. Shoelace. Oh, thanks. What's he doing in there? I've not got all day. Jenny, Jenny, hurry up, please. Quick. All right, go on then. I'm here, sorry. Ah, coming to get me. I'll get you this time, you bird nest weirdo. Naruto, run. Harry, no. I probably could have done more to stop him, but I'll be ready for the next one. Not a single person is going to get past me. Whoop. Jenny. Oh, damn it. I don't want to believe it's intentional disrespect, but what else could it be, folks? Caca! I'm just really hurt, if I'm honest. Caca! Oh, here's the little Judas now. Come in! Hi, sir. You all right? Don't you act like you care! I know you don't! I do, Professor. You just can't help who you like, and I like Ginny. Why? Sir, she's strong and independent and funny. In the book? Sure, but we're not in the book! I'll tell you what she does have, though, Harry. Red hair. Who else had that? What? Your mum! She ties your shoelaces, Harry! Who else did that? Oh, for God's sake. Yeah! Your freaking mum! It's weird, isn't it, folks? Caca! Now, I don't want to put ideas in your head, but Harry, you're a very rich boy. I'm not saying she's a gold digger, but she ain't messing with no broke bro. Professor! You can't trust people who are obsessed with money, Harry. I'm just looking out for you. I'm leaving now. Get down, go, go ahead, get down. <laughs> oh, would you just look at that? No one's gonna want to put a ring on that. No one. Anyway, that's not why I asked you here. We've got to talk. Oh, yeah? It's about the whole Draco Malfoy killing me situation. Me, the greatest wizard of all time, basically, killed by Draco Malfoy. The kid still wets the beds. So what's the alternative? You do it. And just think, the power that gives us, we can plan the whole production. Oh, here we go. Nothing too show-offy, but I do want to swan dive off the astronomy tower. I think it's got good cinematic presence. Albus, please. That's only the beginning. Pay attention. So I feel like what should happen, I should slap you. Then we get into a fist fight or we start wrestling. Like, obviously, don't let me win because you need to win. But if you could make it look like it's a struggle for you. Maybe throw in some, ah, oh, he's strong for an old guy. Oh, you are too much. And then we roll across the floor. You fling me off the tower. Shout, long live the king. And Harry screams, no, that's the Lion King. No, it's not. Oh my god, that was wild! So we need to get you to Madame Pomfrey. No, Harry! Madame Pomfrey's gonna tell me off. Go and get Seb instead. Are you sure? Definitely not, Professor. No, 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 not Minerva. Absolutely not. <gasps> A sound! Harry, what do you need to do? I'll be down below, making no noise and pretending I don't exist. That's my little brainwashed boy. Go on. Now for the grand performance. Oh my god, I wonder who is there. I have to do this. Draco Malfoy, I had no idea. What? Shock? Ah, oh, I'm gonna kill you. Mm, are you though? So far, you cursed Katie Bell to do the cha-cha slide. You poisoned that drink which didn't even kill Ronald Weasley. If you can't kill my little Clementine, you can't kill me, just saying. Look here! Oh, tramp stamp, you're gonna regret that when you're older, Draco. Don't worry, it's fine. Let me just remove it. Spill it, Armas! Excuse me? That only works because my hand's deformed now. It wouldn't work before. Draco, let me help you. We'll resort you into Gryffindor, and then someone might actually care about you. <laughs> really? Yeah, 100%. World's easier if you're a Gryffindor. Oh, no, hang on. I did not script in guests. Well done, Draco. <laughs> Thanks. Bellatrix, see you still haven't found a hairbrush. Well, hello there, Gandalf. Ready to die. Well, if I'm Gandalf, then I'm just going to come back later with some white robes, so the joke's on you. You need some new robes. You look dusty. Well, if Harry would just get with Hermione, I could afford some new ones. Come on, Draco. Now! I'll be down below, making no noise, pretending I don't exist. Potter, don't worry, I've got this. It's going to be fine. Draco, come on. Draco, no. Oh my god, Severus, come to save me. You're all going to be deader than Cedric Diggory. What the hell? It's time, Albus. No way, Severus, you've betrayed me. I never saw that coming. To the line, to the line. Long live the king of Vada Kedavra. Oh, my third father figure to die. Thank God for Remus. Come back. Come back. Come back. Oh, 
This can't be happening, Hagrid. My best friend, my life's never going to be the same again. Uh, not to mention he owed me so much money. Uh, and me, 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 what the hell? Once me as well. The Quibbler. He owed everyone. He had a problem, but he was our problem. We loved him. There's Severus. I need a hug. Oh, yeah, Professor, I've got to tell you something. Actually, Potter, I don't want to know anything about it. I'm about to be headmistress, and I've got to get my head in the game. Last time, Umbridge got in the way, but this time, 100%, I'm going to be headmistress now. Oh, God. This was such a setup. Oh, she's gonna be so mad. Oh my god. Bellatrix, Draco, wait for me. What's going on? What did I miss? This chair is actually really comfy. Severus, I'm glad you could finally join us. Sorry, Dark Lord. I was blow drying my hair. It looks good. Thank you. The subject of today's meeting How to Kill Harry Potter. I have a few ideas. So, I actually had an idea. Bear with me, because it's kind of simple. I don't know why we haven't really tried it before. But, we go to Hogsmeade, grab a Hogwarts student, polyjuice into them, just go back to Hogwarts with everyone else, and then just Avada Kedavra him in the corridor. He won't see it coming. Good plan. I have a better plan. I'll turn him into a flea, a harmless little flea, and then I'll put that flea in a box, and I'll put that box inside of another box, and I'll mail that box to myself, and when it arrives, I'll smash it with a hammer! Um... It seems a little complicated. Hype up his plan, or I'll eat your face. But ultimately genius. Bunch of brown noses. Except Voldemort, he's not got a nose. Hey, charity shop, shut up. This is the plan. Hey, hey, Dark Lord, you left your diary at my house, and I read those pages. Do you really love me, baby? Oh, my God. Who keeps sending these? Hey, princess, nice diadem, but how do you get it to stay in your big bald head? Shut up, I don't wear it! Can I just say, I have no idea whose voice that is. Enough! Ah! Oh, what? You think you're gonna have had a cadaver of me? I'm a letter, Dark Lord. You can't kill me just like you can't kill Harry Potter. I can! I'm just playing the long game! Right. Hey! Hey, Lord Voldemort! Not again! Well, we'd better hope that your nose isn't a horcrux, because God knows where that's gone. <sighs> Why don't you try telling some lies? It might grow back. It worked for Pinocchio. Everyone think! Who is sending them? Who knows? Nobody knows! You could come up with something a little more original. Sorry, say I forgot you're a bit touchy about noses. Why don't you share some of yours with him? This is bullying! Sorry, sorry, I'll leave your nose alone. We'll move on to how about the outfit? Only thing that's gonna save that is an invisibility cloak. <laughs> Roses are red, you've got a big bald head, we really hate you, and soon you'll be dead. Happy Valentine's Day. At least I got a card! Wow. <laughs> my drama senses are tingling. Something's going on. Yo, I heard someone say my name. Um, what's happening? A man that trusted you and killed him. Oh, you wanna dance, Potter? Potter, move! I've got emo Squidward. <laughs> you clapped, cretin, I'll give you a dance lesson you won't forget. Yes! Minerva, I'm undercover. You're like a mother to me. Shut your mouth, Severus. If I wanted to listen to an asshole, I'd break wind. <clears throat> you dirty dungeon dweller. You stole my job. You killed my best friend. Yes, Queen, that's me. I'm her best friend. Thrash him! Albus, this is your plan. Stop it. I hope you're ready, bat boy. Because I'm going to burn you. Raging ball of fire! Oh, no. Have a sectum sempra, you scornful skid mark. Minerva, stop it. I've had enough of your face, you putrid Pinocchio. And all those unnecessary pauses you put between words. Are you having a stroke? I don't deserve this. I'm gonna dip. Right, headmistress at last. Now get ready, children. We're going to war. Hey, Sev, start the song. What song? I am trying to work. Don't you dare start singing that song. Oh, that song. Snape, Snape. Severus Snape. Dumbledore! You stop that right now! Oh, Minerva, just let us have some fun! You're just bitter because you're not in it. That's true. How do you feel? Honestly, Severus, you're getting as bad as he is. Not my fault. He's a bad influence. Me? Yes, you. I just think it's a shame because everyone else was pretty much in it, just not you. I don't need to get my self-worth from whether I was in Potter Puppet Pals or not. I have an order of Merlin first class. Yeah, but so does Peter Pettigrew. Squeak, squeak. Yeah, but that doesn't count. He doesn't deserve his. I 
name show my name just didn't fit rhythmically. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure it's just that and not because you're majorly underappreciated as a character. I'm in everything! True, but I'm alive. <gasps> well, she's got us there. What are you two sniggering about? Inside jokes, Minerva, you wouldn't get it. <laughs> Elvis, he used to be my best friend, and now you and Severus have all these inside jokes. Oh, come on, it's not like I have a choice. I'm stuck with him all day. Rude. I wonder if you've had time to talk about your other bet. <gasps> you shut up, William. What other bet? Well, Severus, haven't you wondered who he was betting on when you were at school? Uh. No, no, I don't think I had any bets at that time. I distinctly remember you having a bet on Lily Evans, actually. <gasps> Lily. Yeah, to end up with... Why are you being such a hater right now? James Potter. That's why you told me to go to the Shrieking Shack that night. So have fun with your new best friend. He nearly got you killed and ruined your love life forever. No, Seb, it sounds bad when she says it like that. I want 40 galleons and paid some of your medical fees with the winnings. Wow. Elvis Percival Wolfric Brian Dumbledore. Oh, full name, you are so dead. Oh, please don't yeet my portrait off the astronomy tower again. I have good mind to after what I've just heard. I already know I'm going to regret this spot. What did you hear? Tell me. I've heard about a bet that you had on me once. Which one? How many did you have? Shut up! The one where I ended up with Tom Riddle. Oh, that one. You can't hold that against me, Minerva. He used to be quite cute when he had a nose. I'm not angry about the bet. I have a question for you. You? Yeah. In my seventh year, when me and Tom got locked in the boathouse for eight hours, was that you? Oh my god, stop. That is not what happened! A tree? A tree fell in front of the door, it was the wind, and then my... Oh, yeah, yeah, I did, sorry. Elbus! I just thought if you had a conversation... Yeah, you're getting yeeted. Ha! Huh. Shut up, Sev! Oh, Minerva, you're back. Seth, wake up. Why did she hang me here next to you? Don't lie, you love it. What is it, Elbus? I just got words. Ginny Potter has her baby. Oh, that's lovely, what she called. Elbus, what's their daughter called? Her first name is Lily. Middle name? Luna. Well, that means you don't have to be dead. Okay, next name? Potter. That's it. <laughs> Oh, it's so rude, isn't it? Aren't you so mad? No, not at all. What with there being an Albus Severus Potter? Seems real ironic when Severus bullied him and I just raised him to die. When you got him that expensive broom, got him on the Quidditch team, said he wasn't a piece of meat, generally cared about him. That's gotta hurt. What a betrayal! How do you feel? I'm fine. She doesn't look fine. No, she looks crazy. <laughs> Dear Harry, congratulations on the birth of your daughter. I hope this finds Lily and Ginny exceptionally well. As for you... I hope it causes you a severe amount of emotional distress. I am sorry that the years of dedicated care and attention were not good enough. And you've decided to name your children after everybody else other than me. It is not just a mild embarrassment. No, you have condemned me to an eternity of teasing. You think when I die, I get to escape Severus and Albus. As long as Hogwarts exists, I'm going to be hanging next to them on the wall. You've really hurt my feelings. Yours sincerely, Headmistress McGonagall. Ginny, I got a howler today. We have to have another baby. Do we have to? Yeah. What's the matter? Oh, Dad, please don't make me go. I'm going to get so bullied. Minerva, Sir Queen Potter. Your godmother runs that school with an iron fist. No one's going to bully you. <laughs> and if you play your cards right, she'll probably buy you a broom. Oh, 